like we said before, an enormous 185-pound guy who began his career at 205 pounds, decided he can compete more effectively at a lower weight class and makes the cut, losing close to 20 pounds of water. It is time for our main event, the heavy-handed challenger, Nate Quarry, and the champion, Rich Franklin. He is taking some shots here right now. Oh, it looked like Evan Tanner got rocked there. Yeah, he put on the glass there, and another one with the left. And a continuance with the left. It's like the edge getting Tanner now. Franklin looked for the knee to set Tanner it up. Looks hurt. I started thinking to myself, like, what do I got to do to win this fight? And uh, it wasn't much later that, that the referee stepped in and stopped it. That's it. It's all over. Rich Franklin is the middleweight champion. The new Wait a minute, I'm, I am the 185 pound champion. Uh, and that's when it, it kind of sets in a little bit that, uh, that you've actually accomplished something that you've, you've set your mind towards. Before this Ultimate Fighter TV show, I was 11 and one as a fighter. I was slated to fight in the UFC. Since the show, I've had three first round knockouts. So bringing my record to 14 and one, if that's not good enough for a title shot, I don't know what is. And for those that think I'm not deserving, they can come tell me that. And down goes Sal. I'm coming to bring my game. I'm coming to take that title. This isn't a game for me. I haven't been playing around. This isn't a culmination of seven years of fighting or nine years of training. This is 33 years of my life that have brought up to this moment. First time I fought in the UFC, can you handle the big crowd? The first time I fought Ken Shamrock, can you handle the big name? I'm gonna be ready for this. I'm not scared to get into that cage. I'm excited. Can you handle the live television? You know, can you handle the pressure of being the main event? For people that think I don't deserve this title shot, all I can say is just wait and see what happens. Can you handle the pressure of winning the belt? Can you handle the pressure of, of defending the belt? It's always something. I'm excited to show the world what I'm capable of. Oh, and I left myself open against Tanner. I got caught with uh, with a good right cross. I think that one of Rich's weaknesses is a weak chin. If uh, Nate thinks I have a weak chin, then I'm sorry he's making that mental mistake. Arm boss looking to finish, it's and it's all over. Oh, Rich Franklin with some box. I've been training just as long, if not longer, than he has with a great team. I think with uh, Nate and I, a lot of it's going to come down to conditioning. Even if he's stronger than me in the first round, which is doubtful, he won't be stronger than me in the second. I don't think his hands are better than mine, so naturally I'm going to come out punching like I normally do. It's the matchups that make great fights, and this will be a great fight. I want people to know. I want to dominate this weight class, and that means keeping the belt. All my hard work has come to fruition, and now it's time to, to execute. I'd love to knock him out because uh, that's what the crowd likes to see. If I fight to my full potential, I'm looking for a stoppage in the second round. I envision this, this being a, a long fight again. I want this to be one of those fights that people remember and think, man, you remember that time when Corey took that title? That was a hellacious war. Uh, it's a nice man event. I think that Rich Frank can just go in there and uh, put it on uh, Nate Corey pretty bad. I, I'm going to have to go with, um, with Franklin. You know, just he's been in there a little bit. You know, Nate Corey, he belongs there, but, you know, needs one more. Um, just got to go with a veteran there on that one. You know, my heart's with my boy, Nate Corey. He's definitely the underdog, but he's got a big chance. He could, he could beat him. It's possible. Franklin's very tough, very tough, but Nate hits hard. He's got good wrestling. Nate Corey. My prediction for tonight's main event is submission victory in the second round, Rich Franklin. As usual, I don't have a prediction for the fight. Actually, I haven't seen either one of them fight enough to uh, make a decision on it. So I'm hoping it's going to be a great fight. So I think they could, they'll they probably strike a little bit, so that'd be fun. Um, Rich is my boy. I've never, ever been against Rich. Um, I just don't think Nate's ready for Rich Franklin yet, and uh, Rich is hot right now, and he's he's going to knock Nate Corey out. Oh, Rich Franklin's going to win. Why say it again? He, because he's an amazing all-around well fighter. Um, he's hot, and we all know he's a champ. And he was a great coach, untouched, too. Hey, I got to go with... You know what? I should stick to the fighting, because the predictions I'm not good at. Sorry. And now it's time to let this middleweight championship bout play out for itself. The champ, Rich Franklin, 
looking to unseat the challenger, Nate Quarry. Nate Quarry. Before he comes from a fantastic camp, he is well trained by Robert Bolas, training partners of Matt Lindland and all the guys at Team Quest. Matt Horowitz, he's got, I mean, one of the best camps you could ever possibly come from. He's got great hands, real precise striking. The only thing we haven't seen about him, we haven't seen any of his ground games. We know he has one, we know he's well rounded, we just haven't seen it in the octagon yet. Well, and, and those that are quick to discredit Nate Quarry, because as you mentioned, Joe, he came from the TV show. The thing that really jumps out at you in his three wins in the UFC, three first-round TKOs. He's got heavy hands, absolutely. I mean, he is a grit striker. He's got heavy hands, and like I said, he's he's a patient, methodical ah! striker. He's got good technique with his punches. He doesn't loop wide, crazy shots. He punches very accurately, very precisely, and with good technique. You know, a lot of people think that Nate Quarry is a, quote, younger fighter because he got his start on the TV show because they uh, they hadn't seen him in the circuit. Nate Quarry's 33 years old, and he'd been fighting in smaller venues long before he was introduced to the world on the reality show. Yeah, I had heard about Nate Quarry for years through the internet, through the underground, and, uh, you know, different various uh, fight websites that talked about him. So uh, he's, he's no spring chicken. Well, he's got his work cut out for him tonight against the champ. Rich Franklin is, as we said before, one of the most well-rounded guys in the business. He's a great striker. He's got excellent takedown defense. He's got excellent takedowns. He's got excellent submissions. Trains with George Gurgel on the ground. He's, he's, he's basically got it all. He's a full package. That is why he is the UFC middleweight champion. He has been knocked down and stunned. He's been stopped before in the past, although that was at 205. And Nate Quarry believes he can get to Rich Franklin's chin, he can knock him out. Well, Rich Franklin, his fans know, fought at light heavyweight, moved to middleweight, then back to light heavy for Ken Shamrock, and back to the middleweight classification for an eventual championship, one that he's trying to defend tonight. Most recently, UFC 53 back in June, defeated Evan Tanner by TKO. The complete middleweight champ is Rich Franklin. He has fought some really well-rounded fighters, some really skilled guys. Perhaps guys that are much better than anything that, so far, Nate Quarry has seen. Whether Nate Quarry can rise to this occasion is what we're gonna have to see. Rich has faced some tough strikers. Jorge Rivera, he faced a big name, like he said, in Ken Shamrock. He stopped Evan Tanner twice. I mean, he's been in the fire many, many times, and he's proven himself, and he has confidence in his ability. Tale of the Tape brought to you by Eon Flux. Nate Quarry, more of a natural 185, perhaps. Rich Franklin, as the numbers indicate, the taller man, but the reach advantage goes to the challenger Quarry. For the official introductions, back into the octagon and Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this UFC championship bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission with Commissioners Dr. Tony Alamo, John Bailey, Joe W. Brown, and T.J. Day, and Skip Avancino, Jr., Chairman. Our judges at Octagon side are Nelson Hamilton, Jeff Mullen, and Cecil Peoples. Our lead doctor is Dr. David Watson, and when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon is Big John McCarthy. This event is sponsored by Paramount's new film, Eon Flux, in theaters December 2nd, and Zion's Extreme Supplements for Extreme Athletes, available at GNC stores nationwide. And now, live 
from the sold out MGM Grand Garden Arena here in Las Vegas. It's time! This fight is five rounds for the undisputed UFC Middleweight Championship of the World! Introducing first, the challenger standing in the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of 14 wins with one loss. He stands six feet tall and weighed in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Gresham, Oregon, introducing Nate the Rock Quarry. And now introducing the champion standing in the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter who holds a mixed martial arts record of 20 wins with one loss. He stands six feet, one inch tall and weighed in at 183 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Cincinnati, Ohio, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. Receive your instructions to address you and grab the question from the challenger. Yes, sir. Any questions from the champion? Yeah. Touch gloves, get back to your corners, fight clean, fight hard, fight fair. Let's go. And as loud as it's been all night here at the MGM Grand Arena when the champion Rich Franklin was announced by Bruce Buffer. Again, a five round championship. All right, here we go. UFC middleweight championship, you ready? Are you ready? Let's get it on! And a relatively large task in front of the challenger, Nate Quarry. Tonight's clock brought to you by Zion's Extreme Supplements for Extreme Results. As well-rounded as Rich Franklin is, is there an advantage having him upright or down on the mat? Uh, well, we don't know. You know, we, we again, we haven't seen Nate Quarry on the ground. But we have seen Rich Franklin. He is excellent. Big knee by Franklin. Slip by Quarry. Franklin capitalized on it. But Quarry was fortunate to be able to get back into his feet before Franklin wrapped him up. Big right hand slip. by Franklin. Throwing bombs. Nate Quarry is staying in there. Looks very composed. Looks like he's looking to land a big right hand. Might have got kicked low there. See inside leg. Come on, let's go, let's go. Walks it off. Only one professional MMA loss for each fighter. Oh. And a clean left by Franklin. A series landed by Franklin. Nate Quarry got rocked there. Franklin landed some good shots. It looks like Nate is looking for one big punch. It looks like he's looking to, to counter with a big right hand. And as he's doing that, Rich is throwing combinations and catching him. Again. Wow. Big left. He got hit right on the eyeball. He is hurt bad. Well, he's stunned and this down. This might be it. Big John almost stopped it. Nate Quarry got rocked there. No, let's go. He's back go, to his go, feet. Come on. Well, we heard Rich, T Rich Franklin talk about when he defeated Evan Tanner, what exactly he had to do to stop the fight. And he has got Nathan Quarry more than dazed now. Nate Quarry's nose looks broken. It's bleeding and it looks twisted. He took some shots. First of five scheduled rounds reaching the midway point. Again, oh, on the big left and down goes out Quarry. Cold. Wow. A first round knockout big is how Rich Franklin retains his belt. Wow. That was bad. On the button. Wow. Very impressive. 
impressive performance by Rich Franklin. Just took Nate Quarry apart. Wow. Very impressive. Beautiful straight left. Whew. Rich Ace Franklin retains his middleweight championship belt. And he is among those concerned now with his uh, opponent. Let's look at the end of the fight once again, Joe. Bang oh. on oh. the button. And you see Nate just stiff immediately. He is out. You see his legs up. His muscles are contracted. He is unconscious. Let's take a look at it again. On the button. And Nate just shuts off. You see his leg extended up in the air. He is in la-la land right there. Let's take another look at it. Just a perfect punch straight down the pipe. Nate Quarry put to sleep. Rich Franklin successful in defending his title once again. Rich Franklin, one of the most talented, badass champions in the history of the UFC. And a very sportsmanlike ovation from this MGM Grand crowd as Nate Quarry rises to his feet. Boy, and it's always a scary moment. Seether among those in attendance tonight in appreciation of Rich Franklin's prowess. Attending to Nate Quarry. We're trying to get Joe Rogan into the octagon, and uh, wow, what an impressive victory by the champ. Bruce Buffer has the official word. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner at two minutes, 34 seconds of round number one. For the winner by knockout, and still the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world. Rich Ace Franklin! Rich Franklin hangs onto the belt at the 234 mark in the first round. Winner by knockout to Joe Rogan. Sam, Rich Franklin. Now, Rich, coming into this fight, Nate had said that he thought that you had a weak chin and that he was going to exploit that. Did that upset you in any way? No, it motivated me, but let me say this first. I wanted to come out here and put on a good performance because I saw the fight before mine, and I hope you guys are entertained. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there's no question. Put on a great performance. You did. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at the knockdown. Look at the big screen. Talk us through this. Uh, I, you know, I was throwing some sloppy punches, and uh, one landed in his eye there. I knocked him down the first time, and I thought John was going to stop the fight, but uh, he didn't. And uh, then the second knockdown, it was clear that uh, he was out, so there was no need to pursue. Now, there's a, a list of challengers in the 185-pound division. Who do you feel is at the top of that list, and who do you think you're going to face next? You know, honestly, I, I'm not in the decision-making process of the, of the UFC. They're the ones that pick the opponents to stand across the ring from me. There's a wealth of talent in this weight class, and I respect everybody in it. So whoever's across the ring from me, it's going to be a tough fight. Well, congratulations on another string of excellent performances. I mean, you improve every time you come out. We look forward to seeing you again. Give it up for the champ, Rich Franklin, ladies and gentlemen. But the two champs tonight really sending messages through the rest of their respective divisions, even though Riggs Hughes was right not there. a championship bout. Matt Hughes with a first round victory in decisive fashion, and even more impressive perhaps was the first round knockout that Rich Franklin scores against Nate Quarry here. Let's go back into the octagon and Joe Rogan. All right, I am here with the challenger, Nate Quarry. Nate, obviously very disappointed. This is a, a very tough fight for you. Give us your thoughts on it now, now that it's over. Well, I'm a firm believer and that you see what a man you truly are in defeat, not in victory. So I went out, I fought my best. Rich is a great champion, that's obvious. He won easily, first round knockout. You know, I did my best. I wish the best for Rich, he's a good champion. I'm happy to have been a part of this situation. Do you, I'm sprayed with blood. Do you, think, uh, do you think coming into this fight now in retrospect, do you think that it was too quick for you? 
man, I don't know. You just gotta, you gotta roll with the dice. You take the opportunities that are presented to you. You take a chance. If you don't, you always wonder, what would have been? What would have happened if I'd have taken that title shot? You know, now I know. I'll be able to go to my grave and say, I fought for the best title in the world. I'm happy with that. Well, you know what? That is an excellent attitude, and that is why you are an excellent fighter. And we look forward to seeing you recover and come back again better than ever. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Nate Quarry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not done. I'll be back. I'm not done. Well, Nate Quarry, very gracious in defeat as uh, that one didn't come close to lasting the five rounds that it was scheduled for, and that's because of the, uh, the devastating power of Rich Franklin. A couple of looks at the knockout, right jab, and the big left that caught him stiff. And as Joe uh, Rogan mentioned, we saw Nate Quarry fold up, the eyes rolled into the back of the head, the muscles went stiff. And at that point, Rich Franklin and the rest of the crowd here at the MGM Grand Arena knew that the title was not changing hands tonight. A big time title defense for Rich Franklin.